How to back up your blog. To back up your blog, you need to install a special plugin. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're logged into your WordPress dashboard. Next, go to add new. In the search field, type in WP DB Manager and search plugins. There are of course other plugins you can select, but WP DB Manager is one of the well-known ones. So in this list, it's called WP DB Manager and then click install now. Click OK. And now it's installed. Simply activate the plugin. And now it's activated. On the left side, you'll see a new settings area here called database. To back up your database, simply go to backup DB. And you can see down the bottom here, a button called backup. So to back up your database, Simply click Backup, and you can see that your database has been backed up successfully. There are other options here which you can use, such as Manage Backups, Optimize your database, Repair your database, Empty your drop tables, but you won't need to touch any of these settings. In Manage Backup Database, you'll see a list of backups that you've made. You can always restore and delete your backups. And there's an option to email the database to your email address. So that's how to back up your blog. How to change the theme of your WordPress blog. Changing the theme of your WordPress blog is the easiest and fastest way to give your WordPress blog a new look and feel. To do so, log into your WordPress blog, go to the appearance section, and then to the themes. Go to the install themes section, and now you can search for themes according to keyword, author, or tag. For this example, I'm just going to go to Featured section and I can look around to see which theme I like. You can easily preview each theme by clicking on Preview. And this is just an example of how your blog would look like. So let's say I'm happy with this theme here. I can simply click Install. and then click install now. And now it's successfully installed. I can activate this theme or I can preview it. Let's activate it. Most themes have its own options, such as this one here. This is a way to customize the look and feel. If I refresh my blog, you can see the changes take effect. To change your theme, you can go back to your theme section and activate any other installed themes. So let's say I want to revert back to the 2010 theme. I simply click activate under the 2010 theme. And now it's activated. When I enter my blog, you'll see the changes take effect. So that's how to quickly and easily change a theme of your WordPress blog. How to configure permalinks to make your blog more search engine friendly. When you log into your WordPress dashboard, go to Settings. There should be a drop-down menu, and you'll see an option called Permalinks. Click on that, and by default, this is the permalink structure it uses. By changing the default permalink to a custom structure, your blog will be more search engine friendly. So select Custom Structure, and what you want to do is put a forward slash percentage mark post name percentage mark. So now all your posts and pages will be named according to your post name or page name, making it more search engine friendly than what it was by default. I will then click Save Changes. And now my permalink structure has been updated. That's all there is to it. How to create and manage categories. Categories are a way to organize your blog posts into different sections and different topics. To create new categories, simply log into your WordPress blog and go to the Post section, and you'll see a section called Categories. In this example, I'm using the golf tips niche. So some example categories I could use are golf videos, golf articles, golf how-tos, how to improve your golf swing, and more. So let's put in golf videos. So I'm going to put golf videos as one of the categories for this blog. So any new blog posts I put related to golf videos would go on the golf videos category. I can leave out the slug, it will automatically create a slug for me, which will be a URL-friendly version of the name. This helps with optimizing your pages and posts for search engines. 
For parent, I can leave it to none since this will be a main category and I can simply click add new category. Now, if I want to add a subcategory under golf videos, I can simply enter it in. So I'm going to use golf swing as a subcategory of golf videos and choose golf videos as a parent. So if I have any golf videos related to golf swing, they will fall under that and I add new category. So now you can see that there's a dash, meaning that it's a subcategory of golf videos. How to create and use custom menus. Custom menus gives you the ability to create your own menus based on whatever pages and links you want in your actual menu. If we take a look at this example blog, you can see at the top here, this is the menu. We can customize it using the WordPress custom menus. In your WordPress dashboard, under Appearance, you can see an option called Menus. Click on Menus, and this is the interface that you see. To create a new menu, let's begin by entering a menu name. I'll call mine Main Menu, and then click Create Menu. The next part is to select menu items such as pages, categories, and links. On the left side here, you'll see custom links, pages, and categories that you can add to your menu. Let's first add pages. I'm going to select the contact us page and also the about page and then click add to menu. And as you can see, it's now in the main menu. I can save the menu now. The next thing you want to do now is make sure that your primary navigation is now using your new custom menu and then click save. If I go back to my blog, you can see now the new menu. If I want to arrange it in a different way, I can do so by simply dragging the items accordingly. If I want the About link to be before the Contact Us link, then I simply drag it on top and then save the menu. Now if I refresh, you can see now it's changed over. I can also add direct links. Let's put in an example here. So on the custom links, this is where I entered my URL and then entering a label. This is going to be called Google and then add to the menu. And as you can see, it's now here. I'm going to save the menu. If I refresh my blog, you can see the new tab here, which goes to google.com. If I want to delete a menu, I can simply just click the delete menu button here. Please be aware that some themes do not support menus. However, most of the pre-installed WordPress themes support menus. How to configure Akisma to prevent comment spam. When you log into your blog, where you need to go is to the plugin section and then go to the installed plugins. By default, WordPress already has the Akisma plugin installed. All you need to do is activate it. So click Activate, and what you need to do next is to enter your Akismet API key. Now to get an Akismet API key, simply click on this link here, and you'll be taken to the Akismet website. Follow the registration process, and you'll be given a unique key. You'll then need to enter your key into this empty field here. You can then check whether you want to auto-delete spam submitted on posts more than a month old, and you can also show the number of comments you've approved beside each comment author. And then simply update options. Your blog should now be protected from comment spam and you're all done now.